crucified and laid behind the storm. You live to die, rejected and alone, like a rose, trampled on the ground. You took the fall and thought of me above all. Crucified, you lay me out in the storm. You live to die, rejected and alone. Took the fall, God of me above. You could trampled on the ground. You took the fall, and God of me, Rapalebo Shantaha. Sakaya handi buko sona ha. Rupra ha kanekro po shene he. Sopa lega ha, sopa lega ha. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for bringing us back together once again to pray. Wherever you are, I want you to go ahead and start thanking the Lord. Thanking him for bringing you back again. We always have to start with Thanksgiving. Because it says in the Bible that in all things we should give thanks to God. This is what he wants us to do. So I'm going to unmute you so you can pray. If you have noise in your background, please unmute and mute yourself so we don't hear you. Just thank him. Just worship him. Just give him all the praise, all the glory, all, all the honor. Just thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Akareba sebe gede gada da. Raba shaga baba baba baba. Ure baba baba shaga. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ega baba sodra ha. Eke raga shanda ha. Thank you for everything, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you for all that you have done for us. Oh, Rabba Shibro Soba de Karahan de Keroho. Saka de Gagaga Yababa Saint Terebe. Ureke Reba Shandahan de Rehe. Shapa Libra has so prehended. Thank you, Jesus, for all you have done. Hey, Agagaba Sandaha. Oh, Rabba Shant Terebe. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve it. Repetable Shataya. Hey, you deserve it. Uraba Shetiribo Santa. Uba Nadia Yaga Turubo Shataya. My Hallelujah. Belongs to you. We worship you, Lord. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Setelebo Shakaya. Oh, Rabba Baba, sit in the boat. Belong to my hallelujah. Belong to my hallelujah. Belong to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it, you deserve it. You deserve 
Epale pale poche te da gas son rega bahale o fra so kala shate ora pande de bo sagande re kora satreda bahalonte de he ora baba shanta la 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 chilo all of the glory belongs to you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Ye pa ha ha. So tene ba shagra hando kara gaga. Ora baba shete de 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 bo shataya. All the praise, Sopa. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Suck in the heart. Oh, that's in the bones. I got it. Tell her, get it. I can't ever shut that. Oh, that's in the bones. I got it. You deserve it, Lord. Oh, that's in the bones. Sit in the bones. I got it. Sit in the bones. I got it. Sit in the bones. Ora baba shegra hapon de lebo san de de de. Ora baba shapa lebo sate de de de. Ora da 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 da. Shapa le baba baba sha de 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 de. Ha! You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve. Shake it, Baba Baba, ya ba so dera. He can never fall as far as he ba so tenere. Ora kapale krosu ba ga ga ya ba 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 ba. Ra ba 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 ba. Shake it, Oh, I love you, Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to me. My hallelujah. Belongs to you. Belongs to you, Lord. Shake it up, Baba Baba. Sit here. You little boy, sit here. Oh. You deserve it. You deserve it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shibra sent the Gadora Hapandehe. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So while we were praying, the Holy Spirit was giving me some scriptures. And the first one is John 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It was just ringing in my spirit. It kept Come in, come in. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So if you're listening to the sound of my voice and you haven't accepted Jesus yet as your Lord and personal Savior, 
You cannot come to the Father but by Jesus. You cannot know God unless you know Jesus. Unless you surrender through Jesus. You believe that Jesus came and died for you so that your sins can be wiped away. That's the only way. He is a passage. You cannot go to God without going through Jesus. I know we have prayed the salvation prayer when we first started the fast at around 12 o'clock. But if there's anyone that is listening to the sound of my voice that is yet to make peace with God, I'm going to give you a chance to say that prayer again. Let me read this one more scripture and then I'll do that. And then the next scripture is gave me is that Revelation 22, 12 to 14. It says, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man a cutting as his work shall be. He says he is coming to give us rewards, a cutting to the work that we have done. It says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The first, oh, I love this scripture. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. And may enter in through the gates into the city. Oh, it is a blessed that those, those people who do his commandments. Those people who obey his commandments. Only those people will have rights to the tree of life. And only those people will enter through the gates into the city. So if you are here and you have not been obeying his commandments. I want to pray for you. If you want to make peace with God. I want to pray for you. I want you to go ahead and say the salvation prayer again. There's a reason the Holy Spirit is giving me this. Because you know some people did not start with us when we started. Some people just called in for the first time. And you cannot be fasting with us when you are not pure. When you are still a sinner. You will be trying and praying and your prayers may not be answered. Because there is sin. You are living in sin. But I want to help you. I want to help you. The scriptures that I read this morning when we were confessing our sin. The first one was Romans 3.23. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then the next one was 1 John 1, 9 to 10 It says, If we confess our sins, you see how it's connected? It says, At first it says we have all sinned, right? And come short of the glory of God. And then the next one is saying, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So God is saying that all of us have sinned and we have come short of the glory of God. He said, if we can confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When he cleanses you from all unrighteousness, you become new. You become a new person. The old you will be dead. A new you will come back up alive. So he will wipe away all your sins. He said, but then again, if you claim or if you say that you have not sinned, you make him a liar. And his word is not in us. So we cannot say that we have not sinned because we don't want to make God a liar. We don't want him to be a liar. So we have to be truthful. And so we have to say this prayer. If you said it with me early on this morning, you are fine. But there's a lot of people that called in. Right now to the prayer line, it's way not more than the people that called earlier. I think that's why the pray, the Holy Spirit wants me to do this. And even on Facebook, we have a lot more people listening. So let's just do the right thing. At the end of the day, God cares about souls. All these things we're doing is for souls to be saved. For people to repent. That's what he cares about. 
Because if rapture happens now, he wants us to make it. He doesn't want this kind of big gathering and people are not saved. He wants everyone to be saved so we can all make it to heaven. That's why we're doing all this. We're not doing this for show. We're not doing it because we can speak in tongues or because we can sing. We're doing it because we want to make heaven. How can you do all this and miss heaven? That's an unfortunate thing. That's not going to be your portion in the name of Jesus. So go ahead and say this prayer after me. Say, Father Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me, Lord. I did not know any better. I promise not to go back to my old ways. I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to serve you forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for those people that said this prayer. I know you are celebrating in heaven. You are rejoicing in heaven. Because it says in the Bible that there is so much joy in heaven. When one sinner repents, over 99 people that do not need repentance. So I know that you are happy, Lord. You are pleased. Thank you, Lord, for their lives, oh God. Help them to fight sin, oh God. Help them not to go back to their old ways in the name of Jesus. Bless them, oh God. Give them the Holy Ghost. Give them the Comforter. All of you that said this prayer, be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. From today, you are never alone. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your helper, your comforter, the advocate. You will never be alone. He will teach you all things. He will teach you about Jesus. He will teach you about life in general. He will teach you how to be a good person. He will help you. He will change you from being that person that is so hot-tempered to someone that is patient. Oh, he has changed my life. You just have to obey him. Whatever he tells you, you do it. Because if you don't obey, he never forces you. But he's going to tell you what's wrong and what's right. I pray that from today, you will obey the Holy Ghost. You will listen to all his instructions and you will follow them in the name of Jesus. And you will hear him clearly. Because some people still tell me they don't know what the Holy Spirit is leading them. From today, you will be sensitive in the spirit. And you will hear him clearly. You will know when he's telling you something. In fact, you will let him take over you completely. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And anyone. Ah. Oh, the power of the Holy Ghost is so, it's on me so strongly right now. Anyone that desires to speak in tongues, I want to give you one minute to pray and tell God that you desire this gift of tongues. As you can see, we pray in tongues a lot. So if you're fasting with us and you don't know how to pray in tongues, begin to pray now. Say, Lord, I desire this gift. I want to be able to pray in the spirit. I want to have my own praying language. I don't want the devil to be knowing what I'm praying about. I want to pray longer. Just tell him why you need this gift. You want to use it to his glory. See, when you want something to glorify God, he's pleased. As long as it's not for your own glory. So begin to pray that prayer. proha. I will give you one minute. For those that speak in tongues, but it's too short. They want it longer. Tell God, I want to speak in tongues longer. For those... That want a new tongue. Tell God, Lord, I've been speaking the same tongue for a long time. Please change my tongue. Everybody begin to pray. I am going to unmute you. So if you have noise, take it away. Mute yourself.
All participants are muted. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray for everyone that wants to speak in tongues, oh God. They want this to glorify you, Lord. They want this so they can pray longer, pray more effectively, pray, pray in the spirit. So they can allow the spirit pray. They want this because they want to be closer to you. Father, you search all hearts and you know everyone. You know their hearts, you know their intentions, you know why they want this. Give them the gift of tongue, Lord, just like you've given everybody else in the past. Give them the gift of tongue. All of you that requested, that desire this gift, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now begin to speak in tongues. You have to do it by faith. Because if you, if you close your mouth, nothing will happen. But if you open your mouth, the Holy Spirit will give you utterance. And before you know it, you are speaking in tongues. So just open your mouth. Whatever the Spirit is telling you to do, do it. For those that want a new tongue, start to speak in tongues. You will notice your tongue has changed. Receive a new tongue in the name of Jesus. For those that only speak in tongues for a few minutes, I want you to start speaking in tongues. You will notice that you cannot stop. We are going to pray in tongues for the next 10 minutes. And you will notice that you can pray longer. Everybody begin to pray in the spirit. Pray in tongues, everybody. Pray in tongues, everybody. Most high, most high. Come on, pray in the spirit, everybody. Yes, you are. Those. Pray in the spirit, everybody. Shake it, the Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, most high. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Shepherd, the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Speak in tongue wherever you are. Get lost in his presence. Don't be worried about yourself right now. Let the Holy Spirit take over you completely. Hey! You are the Lord. Shake it behind the go son regaba soda ha. Shepale, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Shake it in Sakayaha. Mosai. You are the Lord. Shake it in Yes, 
you are the you are the Lord. Begin to speak and talk. He has given a lot of you the gift of talk. At least seven of you can now speak and talk. At least eleven of you can speak and talk longer. At least nineteen of you have gotten new talk. Just keep speaking. Hey, you are the Lord. Shut it up. Shut it up, Sataha. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Shut in the bowl, Sataha. Hit up, Baba, shut in it. Oh, Jabaha, the Koraha, Paso, the Gate, the Hitoraha. Reba so nigga tora ha nigga day. Shepre de go to nigga ha. E palebo so ta ha. Oh Jesus, I love you. You are the Lord. Shamba hand the whole. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Most high. Yeah, Yes, you are the Lord. Oh, I just worship you, Lord. Let's just worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Tell him you love him. Call him all the sweet names that you can think of. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the end, El Shaddai, Elohim, Adonai. Just call him all the names that you can think of right now. Worship him. Jesus, we love you. Radabo Shaha, it feels so good to be in his presence. Rekanaha Sopranike Turahanike, it feels so good to breathe in his presence. Worship him. Rakaba Segete Gataraha, Ege Braha Sokore Gatanerege, O Koraba Baba Yaka Sondrege de Regoto, A Praha Segroho, Jacanda Capo Sondre Gataraga Degete Roba Shaka Terebo, Saga de Gedegede, O Pagaga Yabaga Sokora Gabasete Gedegede. Just worship him, everybody. Just worship him. Retenebo Sagate de Dede. O Raba Shataraha, O Raba Shataha. Just worship the Lord wherever you are. Be in His presence. The power of the Holy Ghost will come over all of you so strong right now. Just worship Him. Worship Him. Be lost in His presence. Be lost in His presence. Jesus, I worship you, Lord. Worship him. Oh, I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Shake it, Ebo Sotaha. Oh, Rabba City. Oh, Kanabo Saha. Just worship the Lord. Wherever you are, get lost in His presence. Oh, the Pastor Tenegotora. Hey, Yaha. Ropadega Sotaha. Shatanaha. She baba baba ye pasaha. Ore baba shete de de de. Ore kanabo sagan de he. 
Karaba sukan naga dahan dora basore he taha. Oreka. Jesus. Jesus. Oh Jesus. 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 Ore pasota ha. Ore baba shante he. Ore baba shebra ha sendre gotora ba la santa ha. I worship you Lord. I worship you Lord. Rakata ha. Ore baba ba shaba ba ba santa ha. Ore kere bo saka ha ne he. O kaya baba ye gaba soda ha. Oh I love you Jesus. I love you Jesus. You are here. Turn it lights around. I worship you. I worship you. Opa ha ha. Shege pro sota na galega tora bahande ko sora ha. Tele ko posan ne gola ha. I love you, Jesus. Hare pro de kaze grade he. I live to worship you. Oh, ra ba 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 sheta ha. Oh, I live to worship you. Raga ba se de go do ra ba soda ha. E ra bo shaga da ha. Oh, ra ba ba shante re bo 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 soda da da da. Oh, ra ba ba shante re bo 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 so ba 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 ba. Oh, ba 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 sheta ra ba ba ba. Oh, ra ba 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 soda ha. Oh, ra ba shante re re re. Away all tears. You mend the broken heart. You're the answer to it all. Jesus. You wipe away all tears. You mend the broken heart. You're the answer to it all. To it all. Jesus. Sepelele. Shada. Kosone ga ha polende he ya ha, resate ne bo sa ha ha. I love you, Jesus. That is who you are. That is who you are. Ore pare kase graga ga ya ba kolega bo shane ga ha ne ko polene ha. Seke le bo sote na ha. Seke le bo sote na ha. Seke le bo sote na ha. Reke le bo shaga se le pro ha tere he. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Oh, Father God, so the God take the heart. Shaga ba so the God the heart. Oh, Raga ba so the heart. Oh, Reka ba so the heart. Oh, Ra ba 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 ba. E ba 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 ba. Ga 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 ga. So far, ha ha. Oh, shake the devil, so the heart. E ra ba 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 shat the heart. Oh, da ba ba sha ta ha, ka 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 ya ba ba so ta da 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 da, rip la da ba ba sha de de bo sa da 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 da, oh ba 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 sha te he, oh so da ba sha ta ha, oh da ba sha ta ha, e ba se da bo sha ta ha, re ba so kro da ha, ra ga 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 ga, oh da ba ba sha ga ba so da he, oh da ba 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 ba. Raga digra da da da. Ora baba shande he. Ora baba shata ha. Ora baba shabra ha segre he tora ha. Ora ga shande bo sonda ha. Ora baba baba shaba ha. Sote ne bo sada ha. Ora baba baba baba. Eke ya baba baba sata ha. Ah eke ya baba shanda ha. Ora baba shande rehe, ropa raga gasunda ha, igropa sandre hehe. Ora baba shante rehe, ora kasunda raha, seba ha soba ha, ora gaga ya baba sikre hehe, ora shanda ha, aye gaba baba sira ha, kaka ya baba santa ha. Ora ba shikra ha ne proho, kaka 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 kaka, kaka 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 kaka, ro para gaga 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 gaga, sokro ba ha ne kete ra ha, sobra ha ne kete ra ha, 
Kokaya Baba 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 Shantelebo Sandaha Sopa Lege De Yaha All participants are muted In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus So while we were praying This scripture kept coming It kept coming John 8 36 It says If the Son therefore shall make you free Ye shall be free indeed. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If the Son, if Jesus shall make you free, you are truly free. I'm going to read it in the NLT translation. And I'm going to read from verse 31. There's a reason the Holy Spirit is giving me the scripture. Jesus said to the people who believed in him, you are truly, I'm reading the NLT version. You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. But we are descendants of Abraham, they said. We have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean you will be set free? Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave of sin. A slave is not a permanent member of the family, but a son is part of the family. So if the son sets you free, you are truly free. So this scripture is for somebody. It is for somebody you have repented but you're still not sure if you are free. Jesus is telling me to tell you right now that he has set you free so you are truly free. Stop feeling guilty. You have been set free. Your sins have been wiped away. You are a new person now. So you are free indeed because Jesus himself set you free i don't know who you are but he says don't worry you are free he says because he the son has set you free and you are free let me tell you what the devil does when you repent or when you ask god for forgiveness and god forgives you or maybe you did something really bad and you start begging god to forgive you and God has forgiven you because God is merciful, right? Sometimes the devil will be, <clears throat> when you're trying to pray, the devil will start speaking into your head. It will be like, yeah, right. You think after doing that thing, God will forgive you. You are a sinner. You are a sinner. God will never forgive you. Like he will just start putting things in your head. And you will start to feel bad. You will start to remember that thing that you did. But remember, God has already forgiven you. He has already Washed it off of your slate. He has wiped away your sins. Meaning you are clean. He doesn't remember that sin. God is not that kind of God that is always remembering something that you have done. It is human beings that when they tell you they've forgiven you. The moment you piss them off. They will go and start remembering all the things you've done to them. God is not like that. If you are free. You are free indeed. He is faithful and just. To forgive us and to wipe away all our sins. To cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When he cleanses you from the unrighteousness. He has cleansed you. That book, that chapter is closed. He doesn't go back to start saying, remember when you did that thing. I forgave you. Now you are doing something else. God is not like that. So why are you mad at yourself when God himself doesn't remember it anymore? Because it's been washed away. It's been wiped away. You are a new person. Don't let the devil put that in your head. Don't let the devil make you feel like you are still a sinner. Because you are not. <laughs> you are not. You are a child of God. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You have been made right with God. So don't let the devil bring you back to that place where you left. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Tell yourself, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am not a sinner. The works of the enemy will not work. He knows how to play mind games. He knows how to make people feel bad. He knows how to make people feel depressed. This is what he does. And a lot of people fall for it. But you will not fall for it in the name of Jesus. Because you know who you are. You know who you are. Once you know who you are. Nobody will mess with you. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? While we were praying, another scripture that the Holy Spirit was giving me, He was giving me Luke 10, 19. Rasheba Senteh. I know some of you know this because I'm always talking about this scripture. The scripture is very powerful, just in case you don't know. Luke 10, 19. I'm reading the King James. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The part that I want to stress on is and nothing shall by any means hurt you. When we finished the 6 a.m. prayer line, when I was done with what I was doing this morning, I wanted to go back to sleep for a few hours before coming back to pray. And the Holy Spirit was just asking me, say, do you believe that nothing shall hurt you? I said, yes. He said, then nothing will hurt you. But I didn't know why he was telling me that. He says, do you believe that nothing can hurt you? I said, yeah. He said, then nothing shall by any means hurt you. See, you have to first believe this. For it to happen. Do you believe? I'm asking all of you the same thing the Holy Spirit asked me. Do you believe that nothing can hurt you? You have to answer this question. Or do you, Are you sometimes afraid that maybe they will hurt you? Oh, I don't know, maybe they will get me. Or, oh, or maybe they will hurt me. Or do you strongly believe that you have been given the power? To tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And it says, nothing shall by any means hurt you. It says, nothing shall hurt you. So if something is hurting you now, it's probably because you don't believe. <laughs> if something is hurting you, if something is getting to you, something that the devil is doing and is hurting you now or is getting to you, you know what that means? That's because you don't believe. So if you believe it, he told me, he said, if I believe it, then nothing shall by any means hurt me. I just covered myself and I just slept smiling because I do believe it, that nothing can hurt me. I told you guys yesterday of how I was so weak. And I was so sleepy. And some kind of familiar spirit came in the form of my son. Telling me that we should play a game. And he said, let's play monster games. What kind of, what, what is your favorite monster? And I'm like, I don't like monsters. I said, how about angels? He said, no, what is your favorite monster? I already knew that that's not my son. Because my son doesn't talk like that. He doesn't do monster games. I said, how about angels? He said, no, monster. And then I just said, how about Jesus? And that thing started to shake. I could act a movie of this. It's like something was shaking the thing. It was shaking the thing. All I said was Jesus. I didn't pray nothing. I didn't try to bind nothing. Because I didn't even know if it was evil in the first place. I thought I was having a conversation with my son. In the spirit. And the moment I said, Jesus. I woke up. And goosebumps all over my body like electric electric fire filling from head to toe. I was tired, but I was just saying, in the name of Jesus, I was just praying still. Even at my weakest state, that thing could not hurt me. <laughs> Even as I was so tired and sleepy, that thing could not hurt me. So you have to believe that nothing can hurt you. If things are hurting you now, if things are happening in your life now, that it's causing you pain, 
It is because you don't believe that nothing can hurt you. It is because you don't believe that you have the power. On Sunday in the church, my bishop, he said for over 20 years, he has not experienced uh, what, what they call is it demonic oppression or demonic attack that he sleeps so well. That he's always hearing people say, oh, when they sleep, they, they, the devil is pressing them or witches are pinching them or doing stuff. He said, no, since he's been doing this ministry work, he's never encountered that. He sleeps like a king. Nothing, he says, nothing can touch him. He says, nothing can touch him. He says, anything that tries to touch him, they will die. He has so much faith. And anywhere he goes, he walks like a king. Because he knows the power that he has been given. Once you have that mindset, I'm telling you, it's not just reading this scripture and saying, oh yes, nothing shall hurt you. No. You have to actually believe it. Even if you are alone in a dark place and the devil is making some kind of noise, scary noise, you know that nothing can hurt you. Nothing can touch you. Repa, shebra, sokon de kaha. It says it in the Bible that nothing shall by any means hurt you. When God tells you something, you have to believe him. But if you have fear, then something will hurt you. Because you don't believe in his word. Everything with God is all about believing. That's why we are called believers. Even this mountain that you are telling God, oh Lord, remove this mountain. If you believe that he can remove the mountain, then the mountain will be removed. But if you don't believe and you're just coming here every time to join us to pray, that mountain will still be there. Now, if I pray and he says, that mountain has been removed. You have to believe and say, amen. I believe this mountain is removed. Even if you leave this prayer line and that problem is still coming, you will say, well, as long as I know this problem is dead, it's gone. Is done with. Or maybe you need healing. Maybe you have a swelling on your leg. And that's your mountain right now. That you are praying for it to be removed. And I pray and I say God says you are healed. In the name of Jesus. But in your eyes. The leg is still swollen though. But because you believe. That what God said is the truth. And his word will always come to pass. You will believe and say yes I am healed. This mountain is dead, it's done with, it's removed. Even if you see that swelling for the next two days on your leg, you will still believe that you are healed. And guess what? It is that faith that you have that will make that leg disappear, that swelling disappear. God told me, he said that he works better when people are not paying attention to the problem. I was telling my mother, see God is always telling me things, revelation. He said, I work better when they are not focused on the problem. I'm going to give you an example of what he means. Let's say you come to this prayer line and you come with one serious migraine, big headache that is just, the headache is so strong, you can't focus and it's just pounding on your head. It's pounding on your head like you're about to, to just collapse. And then I tell you, you know what? You know, I always say this when you come on this prayer or my video. I say, just forget about everything. Don't think about any problem. Just focus on Jesus. Get lost in his presence. He says, as long as you are focused on that headache throughout this session of praying, the headache will still be there. But the moment you forget about the headache and you say, Lord, I want to focus on you right now. I want to be lost in your presence. And you spend that 10 minutes or 15 minutes praying in the spirit and just focusing on Jesus. By the time you finish praying for that 10, 15 minutes, you will remember then that you had headache and you will not even feel it anymore. Because he works better when you are not conscious of the problem. You will say, oh my God, the headache is gone. Because for that 10, 15 minutes, you were not conscious of that headache. You were worried about Jesus. You were focused on Jesus. And while you are focused on Jesus, he has sent angels to heal you. 
You didn't even know when they were doing it because you were lost in his presence. But as long as you come on the prayer line and all you think about is the headache. Oh, this headache. You put your hand on your head. You do this. You do that. The headache will be there till the end of the prayer line. I am telling you what God told me. And this is true. Most people that watch me on Facebook or that are on this prayer line, when they are so lost in his presence, they are crying, they are doing this, they are doing that. By the time we are done, they say, oh my God, my back doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, my stomach's hurting when I got on here. It's not hurting anymore. Oh, my head. Because at that period, they forgot about everything. And then that's how God worked. Just like when you pray, you have a prayer point. Lord, I need financial miracle. I need a miracle. I need miracle. So I need something. And you just say, God, I have put this in your hand. I know you will take care of it. And you forget about it. Boom, he will surprise you with a miracle. But if you spend all this worrying about that thing, oh, how am I going to do this? Oh, all day there will be no solution because God hates it when you worry. But when you remove your mind from it, he will go do the worrying for you and he will send help your way. Don't focus on the problem. Focus on Jesus. Focus on Jesus. And believe also that nothing shall by any means hurt you. Meaning you have the power to destroy things. Oh, I told you guys one day in my dream. I was sitting down. It's like I was preaching or talking to some people. And one black snake started crawling on my hand, my left hand. He crawled. I felt him on my bed. Because it was so cold when he crawled on me. I could feel it while I was on the bed. I didn't move. I was still talking to these people. And then I had something like a bodyguard. Whenever I'm in my dream, there's always bodyguards following me. Those are angels. I told the bodyguard, I said, take this thing off of me. And boom, he just took the snake and he just, haha, just threw it away. I had so much authority in that dream. I didn't even say, oh, snake, snake, snake. Oh, no. He just, one time, flung it away. The kind of authority I have here is the kind of authority I exercise in my dream too. In fact, I'm even more powerful in my sleep. Some of you, you are so fearful in real life that it affects you even in the dream life. You keep running away from things. Things are always chasing you. Because in life, in real life too, you are always running. So in the dream, automatically, whatever you're doing here that you keep doing down there. From today, you will run no more. Because God has given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the works of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. You are going to use this authority and power to pray this last prayer point before we leave. Oh Lord, remove this mountain. You have been given power and authority. So when you pray that prayer... You will believe that the mountain, yes, is being removed. Because you believe it will be removed. Everybody, begin to pray. Pray this prayer. I'm going to unmute you. Remove that noise if you have noise in your background. What is that mountain in your heart? What is that problem in your life? Are you are you looking for jobs? Have you been looking for jobs for, for a long time and you can't get a job? Then that's a mountain in your life that needs to be removed. Is it bad luck everywhere you go? There's bad luck. Then a mountain that needs to be removed. Are you unable to get married? Then that's a, a mountain that needs to be removed. Are you having financial problems? That's a mountain that needs to be removed. Pray with authority. Father, remove this mountain and believe that he is removing it. You have to believe for that mountain to be removed in your life. Rapa so drega da hande go sora ha. Shepa de hande po sora ha. Eke da ba santa da da da. Ore kande de bo sata ya ha. Rapa le ba shata da 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 da. You've been running from all of these problems. Even in your dream, you're running. And the mountain keeps getting bigger and bigger. You will not run anymore because you have been given the power. Shake it about, 
Shatter to destroy every works of the enemy, to destroy every mountain. Use that power and believe that it is done and it shall be done in the name of Jesus. Oh, Sakaya Baha Sodre Gitaha, Sheba Sodaha, Eprodaha Bosodaha, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you for today. This is our third time calling to pray. Will be over three hours of praying today. The next time we'll call in at six will be our fourth time, and that will be end of day one. The day is going by so fast. We are not even hungry, Lord. Thank you for giving us the strength to pray. Thank you, Lord. May we continue to have the strength throughout these three days in the name of Jesus. Father, remove this mountain, oh God, in their lives. Whatever that mountain is, everybody's mountain is different. Whatever that mountain is, remove it in the name of Jesus. I believe that they will all have testimonies before the end of these three days. And if they believe it, so shall it be. I pray that you will help them believe, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for divine favor. I've been hearing divine favor all day today. Receive divine favor, all of you. Receive divine favor in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I hear God telling me, he says, love me first. I will give you everything else. I hear it so clearly. He says, love me first and I will give you everything else. He says he wants you to love him and he will give you everything. It's just the same as that scripture. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else shall be given unto you. Love God. Seek him. Love him genuinely from your heart, not pretentiously. Don't be pretending to love him because you want something from him. You know you can't lie to God. You can't pretend because he searches our hearts. He says, love him first. Father, Lord, help them to love you. From today, they will begin to love you like never before. In the name of Jesus, they will love you with all your heart, their mind, their soul, their strength. In the name of Jesus. And you say you will give them everything they need. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for keeping us alive till today. Some people died just a few hours ago. Some people died just a few minutes ago. Some people were alive. They went to work and everything. And somehow something just happened. They collapsed. But we are still here, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your grace upon our life. We appreciate you. We love you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Okay, so if you know that you cannot fast till 6 p.m., it's 12, it's 105, you can break your fast now because some people are doing it till 12. You can go eat, eat light, don't go and eat so heavy and you can't pray no more. Now, if you can stay till 6 p.m. after the 6 p.m. prayer line, you can eat. If you want to be like me and you just want to go the three days without food, you don't have to eat. I'm not hungry. The day is actually going by real fast. I won't be hungry because before you know it, I actually have a busy day today. I need to start heading to my son's school right now. And then at 6 o'clock, at 5, I have a, an appointment. Um, the song I'm going to be preaching next week and they want to... Do a short commercial with me. Want to do a video. So I'm going to go there. It was supposed to be at 5.30. I didn't know I was going to do this fasting when I set the appointment. So I just told the lady that I'm going to come in at 5. So hopefully we'll be done before 6. But either way, after that, at 6.30, I still have to be in church for prayer meeting. So today's prayer line in, this, in the evening at 6. I'm not going to come on the phone. I'm just going to do an audio on Facebook. So don't try to call in at 6 p.m. Because I won't have my laptop with me. I'll be driving. I'll be on the road. But I will come online on audio on Facebook. So that way everybody can just tap into it. It's going to be short about 30 minutes. Because I have to be in church at 6.30 for our prayer line. Our prayer uh, meeting. And then we'll be back for the long hour at 12 midnight. Which is be day, day two. Day two. So... If you're not hungry, you don't have to break your fast. If you're hungry and you can't stand.
told you before. If you know you can't do this thing, eat oh. Don't go and just collapse and say, Oh, princess told me. I will just deny you. I've been telling you this thing that you guys think I'm joking. But you will not collapse in the name of Jesus. God will strengthen you. What I'm gonna do today at uh, maybe at twelve or maybe at six, as I am led by the spirit, I'm hearing it now. I will anoint water for you guys to drink. And Jesus will feed you when you drink that water. We've done it several times in my fasting. There was a time we did a seven days fast or three days fast. We drank anointed water throughout and we were not hungry. We didn't eat. It was so powerful. I am led to do that again. I'll do it maybe at 6 or 12 in the morning. But thank you guys for staying with us to fast. I'm, I'm glad that a lot of people are doing it now with us because of the Facebook um, audio that we're doing. A lot of you have sent your offering. Everybody that is part of this fast, you have to give an offering every day for the three days. That's an instruction from God. As you are receiving, you have to give. A lot of you have already done it. For those that don't know how to do it, check on my Facebook. You will see my PayPal information. Or if you live in America, you don't have to use PayPal. Just go to Messenger. Try to message me. Look at the bottom left of the Messenger. You will see a plus sign. Click on it and click Payments. It's not about the amount. God knows what you have. It's like going to church and being blessed and putting an offering. We pray four times a day, but I only require one offering a day, not four offerings a day. I pray that God will lead you to do the right thing. And if you don't pay tithe, start to pay your tithe. So that God can open heaven for you and bless you more than you can handle. God bless you all. I will see you guys at 6. Invite somebody that needs a mountain removed in their life. Thank God we have it recorded on Facebook. You can share it. And they can catch up from... I, I haven't deleted any of the recordings. The one from the 12 o'clock, the 6 a.m. And this one is here. So we have three so far. We have, I think, nine more times or eight more times to pray. I counted it today and I'm like, wow, it's going so fast. Because it's only a three days fast. It's short. So we have, I think, eight more times to come back and pray together. So they're all going to be recorded. So for those that miss anyone, you can just go back and listen to it. God bless you guys. I love you guys. Go ahead and I'll mute you so you can say, but I like to hear that. <laughs> Somebody was praying seriously for me this morning. Oh, God bless you. This lady was praying for me. Fresh fire. Fresh anointed. Hey, <laughs> God bless you, sweetie. All right, everybody. Bye-bye. I love you. All participants are you. unmuted. Thank you.